comets are scary looking things. Seeing them up there, their long tails sprayed across the pristine calm of our night sky, it's easy to understand how they have terrorized our imaginations for so long. For centuries, humanity has worried, where do they come from? Are they going to hurt us? Why do they appear gradually getting larger and larger? Will they leave us alone? Sometimes, comets do hit the Earth. Earth's history is full of comet impacts, huge collisions that have changed the nature of our planet. These collisions would have wrought terrible destruction, but they're also credited with bringing water and other essential elements for life to Earth. Why do they hit us? Well, that depends on what type of comet we're talking about. There are two main types of comets, characterized primarily by where they come from. Comets usually originate in one of two places, the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud. Comets from the Kuiper Belt are short period comets that follow orbits around the Sun and make repeat visits to our night sky. Comet Halley is like this. It becomes visible from Earth every 75 to 76 years. Most of these comets return within 20 years or less. The most dangerous orbits, however, come from the second type, the long period comet. These celestial bodies originate from the outer edges of the solar system, beyond the orbit of Neptune. These long period comets are gravitationally kicked out of their safe orbits, tucked far away in the Oort cloud. They then form highly elongated orbits that pass across the path of the planets. Long period comets follow parabolic and sometimes hyperbolic trajectories. These are the most dangerous to the Earth as their paths and inclinations are the most extreme. These are the comets to keep your eyes on. And in September 2012, we found one. We call it Comet Ison after the Russian observatory known as the International Scientific Optical Network that discovered it. This chunk of ice and rock a few kilometers across was found using only a 40 centimeter telescope. Its orbit has been measured and is probably parabolic, meaning Ison is a long period comet and it will pass extremely close to the sun. The parabolic orbit indicates that this is probably Comet Ison's first pass ever through our solar system. But regardless of whether it has a hyperbolic or parabolic orbit, one question looms large. Will Comet Ison actually hit the Earth? Current projections of the comet's trajectory show it will reach its closest approach to Earth on December 26, 2013, where it will pass no closer than 63 million kilometers overhead. So it appears the Earth will get a pass on this one. However, in January 2014, the Earth will swing past a part of space that Comet Ison already traveled through at a distance of only 4.4 million kilometers. This encounter brings up the possibility of a meteor shower on Earth. Meteor showers occur when the Earth passes through the dust left behind by comets, usually by recurring short period ones. Meteor showers from long period Oort cloud comets are rare events indeed. There will be plenty of opportunity for surprises as Comet Ison begins to appear in our night sky. But hitting the Earth won't be one of them.